Hello everyone. Welcome to today's episode of John Bosco and You and we are treating mini importation business like a professional. So um, we are going to be straight to the point in this tutorial. The main aim of this tutorial is to help you get started in uh, your mini importation business, show you how you can buy things, how you can earn money from mini importation, buying from outside your country, uh, basically from Nigeria here, and then selling um, at better prices. Welcome once more. My name is John Bosco Ife. But I would like to ask you a question before I go ahead. The question is this. Why do you want to be rich? This is a personal question and I would like you to give yourself an answer. If you can, then you will have the push to go far. I want to show you certain things about importation. Say for example, let's use our almighty Jumia to check something. On Jumia, we can actually buy a whole lot of things. You say for example, we want to buy a, a Muda wristwatch. A Muda wristwatch. Let's see what we have here. Um, good. We have them for about um, 7,500, 8,000, and uh, the rest of that for this particular wristwatch. Whereas on uh, AliExpress, for example, even with a high cost, people buy things from AliExpress. You would find that uh, this person here makes over um, 300 to 400 percent profit, even at this 31 percent discount. Okay, so um, so. We are checking for the same Amuda wristwatch here. I am showing you this because uh, I want to give you a reason why you should do mini importation. Okay? Um, this same wristwatch, let's see, Amuda wristwatch. Uh, so, give, taking this uh, wristwatch for example. You see, uh, it sold for $21.99 here, excluding the shipping charges. $21.99, sorry, that's a $21.99. Multiply by $340, $360, depending on how much you get your dollar. But I'll tell you how I get my dollar for $330 per dollar, as against $317 other people get per dollar. So with this price, uh, it's already seven thousand two hundred and fifty-six naira here. So now you ask yourself: Is this person making some profits? How is it that this person bought an item for seven thousand plus and still selling it for seven thousand? Remember, this does not include the shipping. Now there is a secret behind it, and this is why we are here. I will show you everything and how I can get this same wristwatch of $21.99 I will get it at five to ten dollar no gimmicks okay so stay tuned while we proceed so like I said you will need certain things and these things include uh, a payment means this could be your ATM card it could be um, a domiciliary account card I mean a dollar card issued by your bank it could also be PayPal, it could be a Pioneer card, or all of this. In the next video, I will tell you how to get each one of them, and I will tell you which one is best. I will also tell you the ones I use, so that you can actually skip all the mistakes I made, and then do the best that you need. Also, you will need um, an address. Not an address like James One Street, Lagos. It's not traceable. You will need a good address. Not an address like a post office box, a mailbox, no. You need a good address like 24 James Bond Street. 
opposite Alenkudi Road, Maitama, Lagos. You see, this address is actually very traceable, and it is what you actually need. Okay, now, um, first of all, I, I would like to show you things about an ATM card that makes it usable. The first thing about your ATM card that makes it usable is the digits on the front of the card. It's usually 12 digits, 2354. This digit is your ATM card number, and this is the expiry date of this card. Okay? This is actually what you need the card number, the expiry date, and the name on the card. Then, some other thing you need is the three digits behind the card. It's called the CVV code or security code. On some cards, you might get this digit to be over a five, six, seven, a number, but what you need is the last three digits. Okay? Now, um, there is an update in Nigeria. Your national identity card can also make payments abroad. So many people do not know this. You can use your ATM card to make payments abroad. Once you get the updated um, national identity card, which has this um, golden panel here, this chip, you can use it to make your international transactions just like your regular ATM cards. Okay? All you need to do is to use the prescribed banks like UBA Union Bank to fund your card and then you are good to go. Actually, this is an intro to um, the mini importation business. The main video is coming up tomorrow. So subscribe to this channel, click on the notification button so that you would never miss any bit of this mini importation business. I wish you well, and then remember, my name is John Bosco Ife. People say I'm an eye opener. Uh, it's not for me to rate myself, but when people say, then something is right about it. If you want to reach me, you can reach me through any means. My page, my blog, the group, WhatsApp, Messenger, and email. I'm always very rich, but I'm always online almost 23 hours of a day. I wish you the best. Do have a good day now.